Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Garth Greenwell's Cleanness. This book is told in nine chapters um, with three sections and it's sort of like split down the middle where the first half of the book sort of mirrors the second half of the book thematically or maybe contradicts it a little bit. It's kind of hard to describe, but the first half of the book and the and the second half of the book sort of um, have something very much to do with each other as far as themes are concerned and um, the subject matter. Sometimes it's opposites, sometimes it's sort of um, mirroring um, what is happening in the beginning. So there's an overarching, very subtle plot in this book where this unnamed American narrator is teaching in Sofia, Bulgaria, and he encounters several um, men in Bulgaria who are either in the closet or um, getting together with him in some way, either romantically or sexually, um, under certain uh, pretenses where they cannot be out in public um, open together. So um, in this story in Sofia, Bulgaria, during this time, it is kind of taboo to be gay and especially to be gay in public. Um, so the characters find ways to meet under the noses of straight Bulgarians in public settings, private settings, semi-private settings. Um, there's a lot of sexuality explored in this book. There's a lot of graphic content in this book um, that has to do with sex, but also that has to do with sort of um, S&M type sexual encounters. And they can be pretty violent. and. What I liked about this story was that Garth Greenwell does not shy away from any of that. He really explores it from a uh, the narrator's direct point of view. And it's told in vignettes, so it's not a very... It's a linear story, but it's not as if the chapter one immediately is invoked by chapter two or, you know, anything like that. But the there is an overarching subtle plot to this story. So this teacher, uh, he is teaching and he sort of is confided in by some students. He is, um, he seems to get along really well with his students and some that come back after leaving Bulgaria after they graduate to go to university in other countries, um, uh, hang out with him because they uh, really like him and get along with him. And, um, but a lot of the vignettes are related to him either in a committed relationship with someone, uh, particularly a, a foreign exchange student from Portugal, or um, with the sexual encounters that I talked about. The narrator is, is a really deeply feeling person. I, I don't want to give the impression that he goes into the encounters with any sort of flippancy. He he really analyzes himself in these situations. He analyzes the men he encounters in these situations and um, he, he actually has some sort of longing to have a connection himself, but there are things about him that he feels like he can't really be open about all the time and that particularly with the brand of sex that he is really interested in, he knows that he can't have that all the time. And there's this longing for that as well. There's this sense of wanting to have freedom in every way regarding sexuality. And there is one character that he encounters who is the complete uh, um, embodiment of that freedom um, in that he this character that he encounters just wants to be uh, a sexual being on his own terms at all times with no precautions, with no um, inhibitions whatsoever. 
and then there's a, then there's the point where the narrator is in a relationship with one of the characters for a couple of years where he is suppressing his desires for these things almost to the point where he feels that um, he may not really need them after all but then uh, something happens in the book where we find out um, he will go back to that sort of need. So then the the writing in this book is beautiful, um, very beautiful. The narrator talks about himself and the other characters and, and the situations he's in in a really beautiful way and but there's this there's this questioning that he has of himself. He's constantly questioning what it is he's actually saying to the reader and what he's seeing. He doubles back on things he says. Um, he backtracks on his explanations. He asks questions about what it is he's actually telling the reader. Um, so it's like you you can trust the narrator's point of view, but at the same time, it's almost like he doesn't trust himself to be really explaining to you the way he wants you to see what he's seeing or feel what he's feeling. I thought it was really interesting that the main character wants to have a really deep connection with somebody, yet he is continuously um, getting into these anonymous encounters with other men, um, where he is anonymous and so are they, but he really wants to feel something close with them. And I thought that was a really interesting way to to write the story there's this emotional distance that the narrator keeps um even though he really wants to be free um so there's this sort of battle within him about f being free and open but knowing that he needs to be discreet and sometimes anonymous i think this book is a really intimate look at a lot of themes it's definitely about shame it's about regret, longing, freedom, searching for something. Um, it's about pain. It's about desire and intimacy and distance, like I said. The main character really, really explores um, what it means to be a gay man in that country. How you have to, how you, you have a longing and you're searching for a connection you want to be close to somebody, you have desire, you want that intimacy to be free and you cannot be free. You have to hide yourself, you have to keep your distance, you have to remain anonymous. Connections don't last because it's very oppressive. Um, I think that some of the pros sort of bordered on the poetic when it was unnecessary. I thought that the main narrative was not really written in that way, though the language is beautiful and the descriptions are incredible. Um, some words that were used in certain situations or some phrases that were used seem to like take the narrator in a different direction from the rest of the narration. So that kind of got me a little bit, but Anyway, I thought mostly the writing was really beautiful. I could really identify with the sort of large portion of the narrator's experience as far as that searching and longing and the sort of need to feel sort of uh, removed a lot of the time, a lot of times just to protect himself. Um, I thought that that was really something that was definitely relatable in the story. Though there is a lot of sort of looking back in the story with the narrator is uh, looking back a lot in the story, there's an insistence, there's a movement forward, there's like an, it's an inevitable that he's going to move forward. And um, he does. Through the arc of the story, um, he has a limited time in this environment and he knows he's going to be leaving. And so, um, but leaving to what? He doesn't have any sort of plan, he doesn't identify with the place he's come from. Um, so he's reluctant to leave, but he, but he knows he has to and that he's going to. So this book is definitely beautiful. It's beautifully written, beautiful imagery, but it has some gruesome, violent imagery as well. Um, so as far as his sexual encounters are concerned. So 
if you're somebody who is not interested in that type of a thing, this is not the book for you. But I am giving it four stars. I thought it was really well done. I really, I really felt for the character. I identified with him. Um, I identified with the situations. Well, not all of them, but a good portion of his feelings toward um, the people he encounters. I could identify with that. Um, so yeah, I think it's a really great book. Uh, definitely recommend it. Four stars. So that's my review for Cleanness by Garth Greenwell. Uh, if you've read this book, let me know what you thought of it in the comment section below. I would love to know what your impression of the story was and how you felt about the narrator specifically and um, sort of the situations he, he puts himself in on purpose. Um, so yeah, that was uh, that's all I've got for today. Please like the video if you liked it. Uh, thumbs down if you didn't like it. Subscribe to my channel if you would please, I truly appreciate it, and I will see you on my next video, which should be possibly my Stephen King Eyes of the Dragon review? We'll see. See you then. Thanks. Bye.